Um, so just a couple of things that I wanted to bring up uh, in a video, and I don't think this will be very long. Um, but um, yeah, 2021. What the fuck? Like, you couldn't have waited a few more weeks to take Betty White. No. No, you had to just take her out on the very last wisps of the of the wind in 2021. Fuck you. And yeah, we still got, you know, Giselle Maxwell... We've got Trump, we've got Queen Elizabeth, we still got these people, we've got Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk, we still got these idiots and assholes running around, these rich elite people, you know, and yes, I understand that Betty White was a rich comedian, okay, yeah, whatever. She still was a person that brought, that was a great humanitarian that brought a lot of joy into a lot of people's lives, including my own. She entertained so many people for 60 years. Probably longer than that, even. Like, Jesus. But no, you had to take her out. You couldn't have taken any... You, you couldn't have freaking... You know, you couldn't have freaking taken out some of the more eviler ones. You had to take the, the sweet old lady... Okay. I guess in the good spit of good news, Maxwell did end up getting convicted. Except now she's on suicide watch, so I'm sure that we all know where that's going to go. Because the last time that, you know, one of them was on suicide watch and supposed to be, you know, being carefully monitored... Well, they ended up, you know, so supposedly unaliving themselves. So, yeah. You know, the person that, you know, holds, you know, that holds the key that could probably lead to Donald Trump's conviction, to Prince Albert's conviction, to even Bill Clinton's conviction. No, no, we're, yeah, we're... <laughs> She's on suicide watch now, huh? Okay. <sighs> you know, while we're on the subject of uh, child sex abuse, um, Mr. Repsion, um, what the fuck, dude? Like, you, like, okay, you admitted that you were wrong. You know, that your skepticism was misplaced. That's fine. But your silence was a lot louder than any statement that could have ever been made. And that's all that you had to do was make a statement. All you had to do was take a couple of minutes out of your day to send, to put something out on Twitter, Facebook, whatever the fuck that you use, YouTube... But no, you chose to sit, sit silent because, as I remember you saying, that it was stupid, it wouldn't make a difference, and that it was a waste of time. You know, you didn't really see the point in what you could bring to the table as far as the discussion goes. A man that, you know, has taken the side of bringing down Onision, literally spent years going after Onision and trying to take him down, and yet you won't take a few minutes to talk about this Pablo Sonny person that Max was going after, or the other several sick individuals that he that Max was trying to take down and expose and bring to justice. And then his videos get taken down time and time again when he does this. And yet when people are screaming saying, "Oh, bigger bigger YouTubers, can you please help us out?" 
you know, you got moist, you've, you had freaking um, uh, scares that came out uh, and, and supported, supported Max, but you couldn't be bothered to do it because you didn't see what being, you know, like, I don't know if it has something to do with that fact that you think that maybe you're not big enough that you could have made a difference. Or if it was just that you just didn't want to be bothered, period. Not that it matters, because, again, you are a bigger YouTuber. You have, a, you know, you have a large fan following, and it could have been another several thousand, like hundreds of thousand, you know, I, how many f fucking subscribers do you have? Like, every single one of those people could have taken your video and spread the word and okay yeah YouTube made a statement they're gonna make some changes yeah 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 we've heard all this bullshit before and that still remains to be seen but even in that throughout all of this you still couldn't be bothered and now you sit alone in your room contemplating that decision knowing full well that you screwed up and that that was an opportunity that you could have made a difference and you squandered it you pissed it away because you didn't think that it was worth your time that it was stupid and, uh, and that it was not going to make any sort of difference because YouTube is YouTube you know just like boys will be boys right YouTube will, is, YouTube will be YouTube it's like, no, we don't stand for that. And not when it concerns something like freaking pedophilia. We do not stand for that. And, again, I know you're better than that, Repsion. I know you're not that type of person. But, <sighs> this is a decision, this is a silence that is going to haunt you. And I think you know that. So, yeah. I'm Red Pig and Nicole. And happy 2022, everybody. Stay safe. Try not to catch anything. And I'll see you next time. Later. <laughs> Землю волю 